Hello there, folks. Good afternoon, good morning, or good evening, depending on whereabouts in the world you are. It is lovely to see you again, so thanks for popping over just to check out what I got in the family food shop this week. So, as you can see, we've gone back to Aldi again, and I also got a few things from Tesco and the local butcher as well. And it was £57.60, which I was pleasantly surprised about, because there's quite a lot of stuff here. So this was my wee receipt from Aldi, which was only £35.40 and then £11.30 in Tesco for the bits I couldn't get from Aldi and £10.90 in the local butcher as well. So as usual, I'll start with the eggs and the butter and that kind of thing. So I only needed one butter for some baking that I'm doing and also some eggs. We don't usually buy eggs unless I'm doing baking or that kind of thing. We're not big lovers of eggs. And then some grated mozzarella as well. And then I got some tender stem broccoli and I also got a normal broccoli as well. We do love broccoli. So a tender stem broccoli, another head of broccoli and then a massive bag of green beans. These are great value. I haven't seen them before actually. I, th I hope those are new. A couple of big pots of yogurt and a couple of these wee layered yogurts. We've still got yogurts there from last week. So yeah, trying to get through them. A white cabbage. I love white cabbage. See what wee bit of butter and white paper. It's just lovely. Some bananas, some baby potatoes and then a big bag of our usual potatoes as well. A couple of Caesar salad kits. We're going to be having chicken wrapped in bacon. So a couple of bags of that. One just isn't enough for the four of us. So I've got two of them. And then a couple of bags of Pearson Ding rice. Well, the first one is actually Spanish grains. So that's whole, I think that's whole grain rice. And there's peppers and onions and different sort of seasoning and things in there. And then I got the Mexican style rice as well. I'm just going to mix the two of these in. And I've also got a white basmati one. So I'm just going to mix the three of them together. We're going to be having chilli. And then some back bacon for the chicken. Seeing these Yorkshire puddings, we're going to be having a roast at some point. I don't know whether they're going to have roast beef or pork or whatever, but I thought these looked amazing. And it's going to be a very busy week. So, yeah, brilliant time saver. And they look lovely. Some puff pastry as well for something that I'm going to be doing. And then a couple of jars of orange marmalade. Is that Seville orange or Seville? Mr. What's for Tea says Seville. Uh, Seville, sorry, I see Seville. A couple of tins of rice pudding, some peach slices and some fruit cocktail as well. This just takes me right back to my childhood. Haven't had that for ages. A jar of hot dogs. We've always got these in the cupboard just for a quick snack on a roll or something like that. Some cocktail sausages because I need to punch some wee holes and things. <laughs> So those will be ideal. Some whole grain or whole meal flour. This is the only one I could find there. None. So I had to get the expensive one. I'm going to be doing digestive biscuits. Chocolate digestive biscuits. That's what the chocolate buttons are for. And these digestives here are the ones that I'm going to be trying to replicate. Although the ones I'm doing do have chocolate on them or will have chocolate on them. Some peanut butter Kit Kats. Just can't resist this kind of thing for the snack drawer. Some toilet tissue. And also some kitchen rolls as well. And as always, these are always great value in Aldi. The only things I got from a local butcher were four chicken breasts. And I got a couple of square sausages as well, which were requested for a wheat roll or something. I'm not sure, but they were requested anyway. So I'm either going to do the chicken wrapped in bacon or I might just roast it. But I think we'll probably have the chicken wrapped in bacon along with that Caesar salad. I think that'd be a lovely combo. So that was everything that I got. Like I said, not even £60 this week. You know, it just goes that way some weeks. And lots of folk, that, this is the new butcher. It's not a new butcher. It's actually just been taken over by one of the other family members. It's Hamilton's. and uh, Not our usual butcher, but we have been going here the last couple of weeks. Yeah, really, really enjoying the chicken that we got last week. So I popped in and got it again this week. The sausages and the pies and things, they're okay. But the chicken in particular was fantastic. So that's why we've come back here. It's a tiny wee place, but they also do take away bits and bobs as well. So for those who have asked about the new butcher, that's it there. <laughs> but just before I leave you, I wanted to say as usual, a huge thank you to the supporters of the channel, 
over on my Patreon page and to the channel members here on YouTube as well and for you all for watching and leaving your lovely comments and for those that share the videos, you know, it's all very much appreciated. So yeah, I'm luckily, you know, I've built up a nice wee community here and I think you're all fab and I do try and read as many of your comments as possible. I'm sure you can appreciate now, you know, I can't read every single one because there are thousands every week but I do try and if you're not following me over on Instagram yet I'm what's for t 3 over there and it would be lovely to see you over there as well because obviously I post pictures and videos and things that don't make it over here to YouTube so if you are on Instagram come over and say hello so I'm going to go off now and I will catch up with you during the week for meals of the week another wee recipe or shopping and bagging or whatever comes my way so until I see you take care of yourselves and bye for now bye now